Hey, good uh, day, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, happy holidays, church family. Um, I know it's been a while and we've been ripping and running, but it's good. God is good and uh, I got a nice word. Well, maybe it is, depending on how you want to take it. Um, the Lord has been taking me through so much and showing his grace in my life. And he's reminded me that his ways are not our ways. His ways are above our ways. Matter of fact, let me just go to scripture. In Isaiah 54, at verse 8, verse 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And, you know, we hear that and it's like, oh, yes, God is all the way up here. And but when you're actually living it, it can really drive you nuts and crazy. But and, and the word that God gave me was that, you know, his will is perfect for every last one of his children, except just not the way we expect it. Because when we think of perfection, we think of no errors, no hardship. Everything's going to run smooth. But most of you can contest that. Almost that never, ever happens. But what God showed me in the past couple of years of my life and even recently is that God, when God says his word, it, his will is perfect and it's going to do exactly what his word tells him to do. Despite me being an imperfect person, you being an imperfect person, despite the, the ways of the world and the flesh and all the things that the devil is going to do to undermine what God wants to achieve, it will still come to pass, thus saith the Lord. I want you to think of something as simple as just trying to execute an event. What goes into that? We got to hire the right people. We got to make sure people are accountable. We got to make sure we develop the money. But the goal is that we want to make sure we do this event to honor God. And God gives you his word and says, it's going to happen. But what happens? People decide to fall off or decide to not do what they're going to say they're going to do. And it seems like behind behind the background, everything's just going absolutely terrible. And you want to give up and you think this is, this is terrible, but actually this was all according to God's will. God knew this is exactly what was going to happen. He knew that you were going to wake up late. He knew that that person was going to get sick. He knew that the, 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 the wedding cake was not going to be delivered the same day. He knew all of these things yet, and he also knew what the devil was going to stir up, but yet that did not stop his will from coming. So I want every last one of us to understand that God's will is perfect despite all of our imperfections, all of the ups and downs, all the obstacles. That's why we must be faithful and wait on the Lord because the second we start looking at what we see and lean on our own understanding, we will think maybe God has forsaken us or God has changed his mind. But once God gives you that word, once you can stand there and know that God is with you, you must endure it to the end. So like I said, God's will is perfect, just not the way you think it is. God bless church family.